For part three, we're going to start with the point tool. And we're going to add points on these three lines. First, we're going to put one point right here in the middle. The next line, we're going to put approximately two points on the line like that. So right there. The next line will have three. So we're going to do one in the middle, and then one there, and one there. Right click, escape point. We're now going to dimension our blue points. The points that we added to the middle turn black because they're fully constrained to the midpoint of that line. So we're going to dimension. We're going to go this point to this point. And that's going to be a horizontal spacing of 0.817. Enter. Same thing, we're going to go from here to here. 0.817. And repeat for this line point. 0.817. Repeat, 0.817. Everything is black, so it's fully constrained, and we now have the points. Now we're going to add circles to each point, utilizing the circle with the center point. We're going to add a circle here, and for right now, we are not worrying about the dimension. So one circle goes there, one there. Just draw circles. And when you're doing this, don't snap to anything. Keep your cursor away from any other geometry. Okay, now we have all our circles. We're going to dimension the top one. It's going to have a diameter of 0.25, a quarter of an inch. And we're now going to use the equal constraint to make all these the same diameter. This is the fastest way to do it. And if we need to make changes to this one, it will update everything else. So over here, we're going to find the equal constraint. Keyboard shortcut is E. Click on this first circle that's already dimensioned, the black one, and then click on a blue one. Black one, blue one. And repeat from top circle to a blue circle. Top circle to a blue circle. So the reason we do this does save time, but ultimately if we need to make this change, point three, it makes all of them bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to point two five. Enter. That's it for part three.